Hi there, Byron here. I know the LP of Baldur's Gate 2 has already been finished, but there's still this second choice that we didn't make. And I want to show it to you now. What would happen if we chose to retain the essence of Ball? I will retain the essence of Ball that is my right and become a power of the planes. As you wish. You have proven to us all that the power in your blood is yours to command. It does not command you. I shall be proud to stand by you in a place of power among the heavens. Good luck. I'll miss ya. Although, somehow I just know we'll see each other again. Maybe I'll get you out of trouble again. You never know. So, this is it. I... wish you well. Maybe... Maybe someday... Oh, well... I doubt this is the last we've heard of you. Jahira, I'm sorry. Your decision has been made, Godchild. Now the act must be carried out. Prepare yourself. away as you embrace your divinity through friends and enemies you have conquered your heritage turning shadow to light and now the infernal power of Baal no longer holds sway you will take your place among the powers as a force of balance and good it is the close of many things but a new destiny stretches endlessly before you. There are greater evils to fight than you might have dared imagine, and sights among the planes that you had never thought possible. In the years to come, your name shall be a beacon in times of darkness. Tales of your life shall inspire and guide, while servants of darkness will flee your wrath it is a legacy that will forever change the face of the realms. Does anything change? No, nothing changed with Eri. I guess the only one that has a different future now is Jahira. Oh, his words were not needed, not heeded. <laughs> that makes a lot of difference. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's the same too, okay?
That's the same too. The events of the Bald Spawn saga affected Jahira deeply. It was her duty to protect the greater balance of things, but in the years to come she found an increased portion of that fight occurring within her own mind. Witness to great change while in Heiwo Jabloni's company, she had become actually aware of how fleeting life was and how the loss of those she had dear ate away at her thoughts. In time she would be known as a tireless com champion of balance. One that sometimes acted in concert with the Harpers and sometimes did not. Always, however, she remained distant and guarded, never staying long in any one place. Jahira would cross the realms thrice over, but she never did return to Thethria or the South Coast. But damn, we hurt her deeply. That's sad. That didn't change. Okay. So the well, I thought maybe we would get another sequence or something, but no, it's just different text, so to say. But I I think I like the other choice better. But I've showed you this one too, so you can say it is, you know, you have seen it too. And now the let's play is more or less complete. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.